This is a crew coming out of their crew quarters. On January 16, 2003, the shuttle Columbia launched with a crew of seven on a two-week science mission. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Roger, roll, Columbia. Com Columbia now rolling on to the proper azimuth for a 39-degree inclination to orbit. Shuttle in a heads-down, wings-level position for the eight-and-a-half-minute ride to orbit. During their mission, they chatted with their astronaut colleague and friend, Ken Bowersox, who was on the space station. We had a sort of a public teleconference with them where we got to talk over the radio with one of the shifts of STS-107 crew. And it was really nice to be able to talk with them. The first time that I got to see the orbiter as the sun set, the whole payload day turns a beautiful rosy orange shape. It was funny, we were talking about what we were doing, the science we were doing, and then one of the crew members came up and said, hey, uh, enough of that, let's say, how are the families doing? <laughs> how are your kids? <laughs> a smooth and successful mission was coming to a close as Columbia approached Earth's atmosphere. This is amazing, it's really getting uh, really bright out there. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be outside now. <laughs> I don't know, I got the back Good point. point. Columbia, Houston, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF, com check. And flight ECOM. ECOM. I've got four temperature sensors on the bottom line data that are off scale low. GC flight. Flight GC. Lock the doors. Copy. No phone calls, off site. Outside of this room, our discussions are on these loops, on the recorded Divas loops only. Minutes later, television was broadcasting this imagery to a stunned audience across the nation. For the first few hours, we were hoping that they'd be able to find someone that, that had survived. And then it became clear that that was less and less likely. NASA's biggest enemy is their record of success. They make it look so easy. Everyone that works on a space shuttle knows that every time a space shuttle makes it to orbit that a minor miracle has taken place. Investigators collected thousands of fragments of debris and slowly pieced together what happened. Insulation from Columbia's fuel tank broke off during launch and bounced off a wing, damaging the shuttle's all-important heat shield. Upon re-entry, the searing heat breached the shield and broke the shuttle apart. One of the lessons from Columbia was similar to the lesson on Challenger. Humans can make bad decisions. They can get comfortable with risk, maybe too comfortable with risk. All shuttles were grounded for two and a half years to overhaul the entire program. NASA knew that to succeed, a million things have to go right. Once again, they learned that to fail, only one thing has to go wrong. 